All right. In this session, we look at brainstorming before email account creation. So the first thing we talk about is that list down about three to five usernames. Before you create the email account, you must do a little brainstorming. If you do not have experience how to brainstorm effectively, I highly recommend my lessons on how to brainstorm effective, effectively to start anything um, for your life. It's a course that I created so you can grab that and it's going to help you along the way. Now, why must you brainstorm? Why must you brainstorm? You need a list. You need to list some information down. You need to think of the username for your email. You should come up with three to five possible names because there is a possibility that the chosen name you have in mind has already been taken by someone. So list down three to five usernames that you can use because there could be a possibility of someone taking that name already and you have to come up with a new name all right the next thing is that what you want your password to be you need to think about that so you list down usernames that's the first thing when you have a listed username, you are very sure that one of it would work out for you. In the same brainstorming time, you come up with a unique password. And this unique password should be something you can remember easily, yet not too common for a hacker to just get it and hack into your email, seize your account, and do some crazy things inside that account. So it should be unique, easy for you to remember. Again, you must also list down phone number you can use for the verification of that email that you are creating. Um, Google will send a verification number through the name, uh, through the phone number you entered in the phone number text box and then you must have an alternate email account you can just use just in case you forgot uh, your password so in any forget your password situation there should be an email account an alternate email account that Google can send you a recovery information for you to create a new password. I hope you enjoyed this section and I hope it's useful for you.